Although the media seems to have forgotten, Ralph Northam is still governor of Virginia, despite being caught in a racially charged scandal with his medical school yearbook and admitted me in a blackface. Well, as for his lieutenant governor, Justin Fairfax, well, Virginia Republicans now finally plan hearings into the sexual assault allegations against him, with both of his accusers invited to publicly testify. But if you think the hate Trump media mob you think they're pushing any of these stories out to the public? Well, use your imagination. According to media research, network's coverage of the Virginia scandals has fallen off a cliff. Joining us now to discuss the media's handling of this, Fox News contributors, Tammy Bruce and our own Lawrence Jones. You know, Tammy, you were so powerful during the Kavanaugh hearings. Um, apparently, one of these charges, one is sexual assault, one is rape. And what I read is that at the time, the accuser actually told real people. Right. And no media coverage. Is it because it's a Democrat? Is it because they just didn't read the newspaper and hear about it? Why the double standard that's so apparent? Well, it's, a, it's apparent on both sides there. The media clearly is the water carriers for the American left. Uh, and they are not mm -hmm. interested in this, just like the, the Democrats are not really interested in the issues that impact uh, women's lives. Otherwise, we'd have some successes, right? They rely on this kind of victimhood and these problems remaining so that they can run on them. That said, what the Republicans and people who care about this country need to do is look at when coverage of issues like this falls off the cliff. And it tells you what the Democrats are really afraid of. And it tells you what the mm -hmm. uh, what the Trump White House, what the what the GOP need to focus on in general, first of all, because it's the right thing to do, because these are serious is issues, of course, uh, that affect all of our lives. Certainly they affect women, but they affect the men who, who love those women and who, who, you know, your mothers and your sisters and your daughters and your wives, your best friends. So all Americans care about this. Uh, and the GOP must realize that it's been a fraud that the Democrats have been the leaders for minorities in this country and mm -hmm for women, uh, and they must take up that mantle because all Americans deserve representation, and no. it is only the conservative ideal that will deliver yeah. it. But, where, but Sean, Lawrence, we got to stop... Uh, yeah. I want to ask you this. Where are all the I believe people? Because I'll tell you where I stand on this. No. I'm still in the mm -hmm. I don't know category. I don't know. I wasn't there. I, but I want, the Republicans, for once in the Kavanaugh hearings, they gave it the seriousness and the proper attention that it deserved, and then it fell apart on its own. Um, I don't know what happened here, but it should be treated the same way, and it's not. Yeah, as it relates to the Fairfax case, he has a, a right to due process, but that's not what the Democrats called for in the beginning. So all we're asking is for a little bit of consistency. If this is the position now that you don't care about these issues, then use that same positioning when there's Republicans on the other side. But as it relates to the blackface scandals, we know what they did there. And I don't understand how Republicans continue to lose to a party like this. I mean, right. who didn't search exactly. the yearbooks? Who, 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 who didn't go after these people? Well, after, I can why tell are they you sitting why. on their tail? All you know? the government workers moved to Northern Virginia. Yeah, but, but, but Sean, what about the Republican strategists uh, that were running these campaigns after they, they painted the Republican candidate as a racist? Meanwhile, we have two yearbooks, okay, that have people in blackface, and we lost to these people? Come on, give me a break. I, I totally agree with you. We'll give uh, Tammy the last word. Well, look, this is, there's lots of lessons to learn here. Uh, we've seen that, of course. There was still the anti-Trump uh, GOP operating to some degree, but it's an investment in the swamp, in the bureaucratic monster that that is what has what we've been led to for the last several uh, generations by the system as we know mm -hmm. it. And this is why the Trump administration is so important And our new view for reformation overall for both parties will will only lift this country up. We're just at the beginning of it and we're getting reminders every day why it's so, uh, so important. All right. Lawrence, Tammy, thank you so much for being with us.